Hello everybody. Today we will be studying that what are indices, exponents of powers. An index raised to the power of a number shows that how many times the number is multiplied by itself. For example, we can take say 2 into 2 into 2 so 5 times. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can, in the form of indices, we can write this as equal to 2 raised to the power 5. Similarly, any number A taken many times, say like this, 5 times, this can be expressed as A raised to the power 5. And if not 5 times, if you take uh, a number of times, say something like this, A, so on, up to so many times, say 1, 2, 3, 4, and finally n times. So this will be called, this will be expressed as A raised to the power n. Here in A raised to the power n, n is called as power while this a is called as base of the number and we raise and we read it as a raised to the power of n we have seen that how a repetitive multiplication is shown and what if a number is divides unity so many times say in this condition 1 divided by 2 which is again divided by 2 which is again divided by 2 so this can be written as 1 by 2 divided by 2 by 2 and finally this can be shown as so many times multiplications which is dividing by 2 this can be further written as 1 divided by 2 raised to the power 4 this is expressed as a negative power like 2 raised to the power minus 4. That's how the multiple division is uh, denoted in terms of powers. So here we come a very first rule of the indices that any index say a raised to the power m can be denoted as 1 divided by a raised to the power minus m. Or vice versa, a raised to the power minus m is equal to 1 divided by a raised to the power m. So to change the negative indices, we have to simply flip the pos uh, simply flip the position of to convert the negative index. The second rule for the indices for carrying out different uh, algebraic operation is the multiplication with same base. So say we take two indices a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n. This can be denoted as a raised to the power m plus n. In case of multiplication with the same basis, both the indices are simply added. So if you take, uh, uh, if you just assume that the first number contains a m times multiplying by itself, the second contains a multiplying itself by n times. So obviously we see that a will be multiplying m plus n time by itself. So this is the second important rule of the indices. So for example, we can see if we have say 2 cube or 2 raised to the power 3 into 2 raised to the power 2, this will be equal to from this formula 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2 that is equal to 2 raised to the power 5. We can simply check it that 2 into 2 into 2 3 times into this term 2 into 2 2 times and finally we get it is coming 5 times and 2 raised to the power 5. So that is how we simply add the indices while in the case of multiplication. The third law of indices is about the division in the same base that is if we show mathematically a raised to the power m when it is divided by a raised to the power n it can be denoted as a raised to the power m minus n 
the indices are simply subtracted or it can also be denoted by a raised to the power m by a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m minus n. So this is the third law. What should be the value of if the power is 0? It's equal to 1. And how do we get it? a can be represented as a raised to the power 1. And when this is multiplied by, when we take a and multiply it by 1 by a, this comes equal to 1. So this can be denoted as a raised to the power 1 into 1 by a raised to the power 1 or a raised to the power 1 into a raised to the power minus 1. This will be equal to 1. And finally, if you see the multiplication formula, it is 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. And this term shows that a raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So another result is that when we have a power raised to the power some power that is a raised to the power m and the power is raised n over it. This simply becomes a raised to the power m into n or a raised to the power m n. The power is simply multiplied in this case. We take some one simple example that is 2 square raised to the power 3 that will be equal to 2 raised to the power 2 into 3 is 2 raised to the power 6. So that is the way this rule is used for uh, different uh, algebraic operations. Till now we have seen that uh, how the operations are done for the same base. In case the bases are different while the indices of powers are same that is say a raised to the power m into b raised to the power m. In such case, it simply becomes a b raised to the power m. Similarly, the different bases but same indices in case of division, a raised to the power m by b raised to the power m, it simply becomes a by b raised to the power m.